Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. You want to talk, you know, talk a little bit about the uh, Price of Business television show. Man, we've got uh, Robert Kiyosaki, author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. We've already got that uh, show in the can and ready to be aired. Uh, the feedback has been just phenomenal for the Price of Business TV show. Uh, people are loving it. And uh, 38 million homes around the country, r- roughly one-third of the homes around the country, um, also got Rand Paul, Senator Rand Paul is going to be interviewed here uh, pretty soon. Hoping to get my good old buddy uh, Ted Cruz on the program, who is, uh, you know, looking forward to uh, a lot of uh, big activity uh, happening on Super Tuesday. And so we're hoping to do that before Super Tuesday. But you know, I encourage you to check out priceofbusiness.com. You know, we make people's lives easier. People can go straight to the TV program information from there, straight to the radio show information from there. And I love the synergy between the radio program and the television program. Check it out, priceofbusiness.com. I uh, do want to talk a little bit about uh, uh, the fact that we're looking at doing a lot of trips around the country in 2016. Uh, Want to meet uh, some business owners around the country. Uh, looks like we're going to be doing a special from uh, Boston here very quickly, uh, maybe even this month. Uh, looking forward to uh, that freezing weather. You know, um, it, it really kind of happened accidentally uh, through a ver- series of interesting events. My uh, wife uh, ended up landing tickets to uh, Boston, and so we're on our way. And I thought, you know what, we might as well get a little business while, well, done while we're there. And so uh, we're going to be covering some things there. Washington, D.C., coming up in March, which is already right around the corner. I'm going to be at the uh, CPAC convention is, is what the plan is. And I'm going to pile up a ton of great interviews for both the radio show and the television show during those uh, those uh, crucial days plus uh coming up uh in june or july rather uh it looks like i'm going to go to freedom fest in las vegas and so we got a lot planned if you know of great events that uh, we should be covering make sure you let us know uh we of course will cover them for the radio show but they're mainly for the television program and i'm excited about that and uh again want to encourage people to check out price of business dot com and uh, learn more about that. You know, I'm still kind of reeling, still kind of watching, uh, still kind of waiting for the uh, punchline uh, with David Bowie's passing. You know, I just I still can't still can't fathom that. You know, and Sigmund Kramer, my producer, I'm looking at him and he just doesn't know what to say. Well, no, I mean, it's it, you know, it's it's been pretty much ubiquitous. You can't not find it out there in media, you know, uh, on Facebook or just in the in the news in general, and the outpouring of support um, of well wishes for his family. For you know, uh, his son was uh, is Duncan Jones, who's a, a director, a film director, and he actually is married to a woman who just two years ago had uh, cancer, and she's. I guess it's in remission. You know, she's doing okay, but so he didn't have it. She had right, it. right, right. She had it, and so there's just been a, a, a large out, outpouring for. I mean, David Bowie is beloved by people all over the world, and so it's it's been a huge deal. I can't even imagine what his memorial service is going to be like. Yeah, it's going to be like you know for royalty, assuming that they allow that. I yeah. mean, they're one of the most private couples you know, out there. So yeah. who knows what they'll even allow. More than likely, they'll probably have a public one and then a very private one. Is what you, you know, Iman, his wife, uh, had, uh, she had posted some things right before he passed away on Facebook and Twitter that now in retrospect, people are saying, you know, it, it was, it was very much, um, her way of, of saying goodbye and, and, but being positive about things and, Apparently, just real classy, you know, woman. So, um, which doesn't surprise me. I mean, I didn't think David Bowie would be married to Kim Kardashian, right? You know, no, not not his personality. He he would have. You know, what's so funny is that this guy's a glamour guy, drama guy, you know, theater guy. But he's so private. Could not have. Who could be? Could not be any less. Um, 
you know, how do I even word it? He wasn't a drama queen in reality. You know, it's right. like he, like he vented it, it all. He vented it all in this in this persona. Right. But he couldn't be a more private, more. I, I just don't see him tolerating that kind of insanity. Well, and that's you know, he's the consummate performer, entertainer, and uh, a lot of those guys. If you if you you know know uh, like in Hollywood history and theater history, a lot of those guys were. 